to, to end the season. Uh, uh, I know you guys were right there, and then uh, Daniel Stairs scores that goal. I mean, maybe talk talk about the game as a whole and, and how that ending feels for you. Yeah, the I mean, the game as a whole, we knew there was going to be not an easy place to play. They're they're good in possession. They get into good spots. Uh, you know, we wanted to try to stay connected. We didn't necessarily want to be as deep as we were in good good chunks of the game. Um, I thought in, in, you know, after our attacks, I thought in possession we were fine, but after our attacks, I just felt like the, our presence in the midfield area was just, was not uh, sufficient. And so whenever, the, you know, especially in the first half, whenever the ball transitioned, they were able to get to our half the field relatively easily. And we recovered back and we were in, in you know, lower block positions for a while. Uh, then we would transition out and be really fast. And, and if you're going to do that, you got to take advantage of some of those moments. And we've got we've to get goals when we're in those situations. But we've got to do a better job of controlling transition moments for sure so that the game doesn't get so end to end and we aren't defending so deep in our box. But I felt like that uh, that became and defined much of the first half. I mean, we had some we had some good attacks. Like I said, we had some things that were looking promising. Um, but it was, but I felt like just in terms of the overall control and where we wanted the game to be played, I just didn't, I didn't love where that was happening. Uh, let's see. Uh, then we give away a foul, a set piece goal that uh, we don't win the first touch, and the second one just kind of bounces off some people and falls to their player. He taps it in again. Another, another moment where again a ball crossed in the air, we don't deal with it, um, which ends up playing a. I guess a role in our season at the end because the we end up in the second half I feel like just a little more aggressive defensively a little bit more proactive which in times I think worked out for us um, in terms of recovering balls in better areas and not ending up so deep so much uh, we started attacks in slightly better areas um, <clears throat> so I felt like you know we were able to get a chance obviously Joe scored we get that called back um, you know, we get ourselves back into it with the penalty, and then it's just about seeing the game out. And you know, one play at the end of it, and you know, across from the sideline, where we've got enough numbers to defend the box, uh, and we just get we get beat to the spot, and the header finds its way into the back corner. And so, uh, you know, one play at the end of the season, uh, when there's a season of a ton of plays, but the one play being the last play of the season, just really it, it uh, yeah, it, it hurts for everybody. But as I said to the group, let this let this be a lesson that. You know, this one today, it hurt us and it cost us first place. Um, but the next one like that will cost us our season. So we need to, you know, we need to be able to, again, mature from the moments and uh, and be ready because the new the tournament starts now in a week, and you know every moment like that is is uh, is critical. <clears throat> and uh, you know when we say every, we have to play every moment and we have to deal with every situation, that's a good example of it right there. Thanks, Josh. Sophie, you have your hand up. Hi, Greg. Um, it felt like at the end of the game, after the penalty, uh, that not every player was mentally playing to the final whistle. They, there were a couple of players who were maybe looking for the whistle. Would you agree or disagree with that? And is that something that concerns you? Uh, I, I think it's... I think it's a fair assessment. I don't know if that's necessarily what was going through their head, but I certainly think it's a fair assessment because we can, again, as I said, playing every play is kind of my my point that um, you know guys can't dribble through us and to start attacks. We've got to be able to again create density in the middle of the field, make sure that we're connected, make sure we're taking away all dangerous areas, and that we can deal with stuff. And you know, I felt like again we were just we were a little bit a touch disconnected in the end we still have the bodies to make the play but I don't like that they're able to get to that spot you know two times they got there once and then they we got them forced them back out and then they got there again at the end for our, for the chance that ended up costing us the goal and again it's uh, this is the moment especially you know where any moment can can kill you and that was exactly what happened and uh and Again, we have to we have to recognize it, grow up from it, and recognize that again we take a play slightly off or don't get all the way to where we need to be, and we don't do the things we need to do. It can be the end of our season really fast. And as I said, uh, it's a harsh lesson, and it's not like our first lesson of this year, but it's a harsh lesson, and and we'll certainly make example of it because the guys feel like crap right now, as as everyone 
should at this moment, you know, with the way that it ended. But at the same time, it's, you know, the tournament and the, and the cup is in front of us. And now we have to, uh, we have to make sure that these things aren't, uh, don't happen again. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Sophie. Benjamin, you have your hand up. Hi, Greg. Thanks for uh, chatting with us. Just a quick question on with your experience in this league, is this more of a, a gut check? Do you lose momentum from this or does this light a fire under your guys? I don't, I don't think it's a momentum thing because I think, uh, you know, <clears throat> you come back home, it's going to be, our fans are going to be there. They're going to be roaring, ready to go. It's, it's the cup, which is what everything is about in our league. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's a harsh reminder um, when you have a, you know, a group of guys who are competitively really haven't had a ton of these, these moments together as a group that we've got guys who've had these moments, but together as a group, this is a this is a reminder of how quickly uh, you know how quickly it, it can potentially end. And I think when you're not a super competitive, mature group that has a lot of positive things going for it, sometimes you forget that there's a there's a dark side on the other side if you don't get if you don't get your your stuff done correctly all the way through the game. And now tonight was a harsh reminder that there's a dark side. So we should we should have a healthy level of fear that we can we can be out of the playoffs in a hurry. But we've got to. You know, we've got to use the that motivation and now the momentum and the energy of being at home and and the cup starting um, to get ourselves going. And I feel like I feel like that's what's going how this group is going to respond. They have all year. And how close have you guys watched the uh, the score in the other match tonight? Or was that not top of mind? Second half, we're keeping track of it. So, you know, even when it was. 2-1 up until pretty late, we knew by goal differential that we still had the West. Uh, won even though we weren't winning the game. So there was, as I was trying to get the message to the group, like with a certain level of calculation, we would want to try to go get the goal back and get the draw, but we shouldn't be exposing ourselves in a way that uh, that we're, we're opening up ourselves up to give away maybe potentially that goal that would separate the goal differential one more. Um, that's kind of a position that was happening for a little while, uh, trying to get that across and then Obviously, there was a goal that happened on the other side, and then it became okay. We've got to really push, and we've got to try to to maybe throw caution at the wind a little bit and see if we can't get the balls in front of the goal. And that's when the penalty, about the time the penalty happened, and now we're back in the game. And now it's a it's a quick shift into now you got to protect yourself, you know. So we were playing a little bit on it the last say 10 to 15 minutes, maybe, but not you know nothing. Nobody was really thinking about it before that. Thanks for the question. We're going to do our last question with Josh. Hey, Greg, got one more for you. Uh, yep. Looking at Joseph Hainsel and that goal being overturned, I didn't know if you had thoughts on that. And then playing all the way to the 101st minute, it seemed like maybe there were a couple extra minutes in there. Uh, thoughts on either of those? <clears throat> uh, I didn't see the challenge, um, so I don't have a, a I don't have a position on the foul or not foul. I, I, I do know and feel like there was probably three or four or more of those challenges throughout the game where center backs were being aggressive and, and trying to recover balls like that that weren't always called. Um, so I, I feel, again, without having seen it specifically, to take a goal back seems a little bit harsh, but I, I don't again, I don't have a specific uh, eyes on that, that play. It was a great finish by Joe. I love that... that he hit the back of the net. I wish it would have counted because he could have. He could have certainly um, used that for momentum uh, and everything just for him. Um, but you know, the group the group stayed in it and they got the goal back. Unfortunately, the play at the end uh, cost us um, a lot. So, uh, as far as the extra minutes, <clears throat> yeah, I was told it was going to be three. Three would get you to about 110. Uh, <clears throat> I wish they would have called it right at 110 because I don't think the ball was quite in the in the in the net yet. Um, maybe maybe not. But I, whenever there's like attack on the way, I just don't think they're going to blow the whistle. So, but I, I, I again, I didn't see the clock specifically at where it was in any given time. But I certainly wish they would have blown it a little bit earlier. But we still got to see the play out. That's that's the way it's going to be in in these uh, kind of nail biting sort of end of the season playoff time stuff. You just you got to do whatever you got to do until the final whistle. Period. Thank you all so much.